toss a spring at the ground, you know that it lands and it will compress under its own weight slightly and then bounce on. Now your muscles do exactly the same thing. And even if you um, do this, at ho try this at home if you'd like, uh, not if you're going to injure yourself, please. But if you aren't going to injure yourself, you can try it. And if you take some hopping steps, can you see my feet, John Andre? They're fine. If you take some hopping steps and you hop like this, and then you stop, and then you do it again, it's not efficient. It's very inefficient. But if you do what many of the, and this is a lot to do with sprint training, so if you are a, a sprinter, which I very clearly am not, if you are Usain Bolt, they do a lot of these sort of what we call plyometric exercises. And when you hop and then jump straight away on landing, what it does is it uses the natural elasticity of your muscles and your joints. So if you hop like that, every time you hit the ground, you jump up again. Did that look like a bunny there, jean -Dre? No, no, I'm not doing any more of those. I felt slightly embarrassed. What it means is that, and especially if you're specifically designed for it, which we are not, and certainly none of the animals out here are, but the marsupials are, it means that much of the motion is actually not, it doesn't use energy at all. Um, it comes from the natural elasticity of the muscles and the joints. So that's why everybody in a nutrient-poor continent like Australia, everything likes to hop. <laughs> Ex Ranger, who is in Tasmania, you say we need to have a kangaroo uh, impression competition now. I think I've done my kangaroo impression actually, so let's try and see if we can get Jamie to do it. I imagine she will be a very elegant kangaroo indeed. <laughs> and thank you for working out. You know the reason I asked the other question of Jamie.